Wrestlers, wrestling fans, this is the Yellow About Wrestling Podcast, and things are a little bit different today. Um, I'm here, Bobby Rassels, your guy, and we are transitioning, so this episode is not live. This is a pre-recorded episode, but you're in for a treat. We have some, some snippets, some clips of the week, of our travels, and we have a preview of Amy Crimson from Canada, who's going to be on our show in the month of April. Most importantly... We have an interview from James Gray of the Bonnet Club. All right, so stay tuned, and let's talk about uh, Amy Crimson. All right, so she's a fierce competitor. Uh, she's from Toronto, Canada. She's going to be with us live next month, the month of April. And here's a little preview. see ladies and gentlemen very very tenacious very very vicious in the ring very talented excited to have her on later all right so stick around and uh she'll be with us next month we're going to have james gray from the bonnet club he's going to be with us later all right so stick around and enjoy the video mi amor mi amor good morning guys it's early got my coffee I don't have my uh, my about wrestling mug right now I just have a standard black co black coffee mug and this is how I wake up this is like my um, my creative moment to get the creative juices flowing to think about new ideas and how I can uh, uh, better develop the show and the brand. All right, so I wish I could say the same thing about Alina. She's not coming to the new place with us, are you? She's so inactive lately. I don't know why I had to move some stuff around just to expose her. Girl, wake up. All you do is sleep. All you do is sleep. All you do is sleep. Let's cover your back up. Let's cover your back up. Okay? Yeah. Hey guys. Alright, so in this transition, there's a lot going on, moving equipment, um, doing things of that sort, but we do want to keep you uh, reminded that when we come back, we're going to have a WrestleMania midpoint show, all right, where, you know, we usually go live on Sundays, and um, we're going to go live that WrestleMania weekend on Sunday, but um, much before day two of WrestleMania starts, so we can actually um, touch base on what's happened on day one, and then talk about our predictions and, and uh, expectations for day two. All right, so make sure you join us. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. I wonder if I should take my uh, take my buddies with me, huh? Or y'all gonna stay here? Say something. Speak. Or forever hold your peace. Oh, there's a transformer over there, too. Transformers. More than me, see I. Yeah, I'm more. Do you have a message for our viewers? Let them know that we'll be back next week. For what? Let them know we'll be back next week. Yeah, keep it locked. We're going to be in a whole new place. Yeah, are you excited? I'm super excited. Okay, all right. Is that all you have? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the one, James Gray. James Gray, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. It's it's been cold in Philly, but you know we always stay colder in the Bonnet Club. 
I hear you. I hear yeah. you. That's what's up, man. Um, yeah. so, so Bonnet Philly Club. in the house. Yeah, Let Philly's in the house. <laughs> Philly. <laughs> <laughs> so the Bonnet Club. Um, we just saw you um at a show. My first Bonnet Club experience. Yeah. Um, very, <laughs> what very. What you think? Oh man, it was great. It was great. The energy. Um, the way that you guys are so uh, connected together when you come out with the fans, yep. um, the bonnets. How many members are there in the bonnet club? Oh man, uh, total. It feels it sort of feels like a uh, union at this point because like it started with like three or four, and now it's up to almost like eleven or twelve people. Wow. Yeah. yeah so like for whatever whatever promoter is brave enough to book all 12 of us they got <laughs> wow that's pretty yeah. cool that's 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 pretty interesting i would like to see that yeah that's, so we're, we're trying to find somebody brave enough to, to book a trios at minimum but right. uh we keep adding we we add people because like they they fit the criteria they fit the message that we're trying to send out to people mm-hmm. and what message so is like, that it's it's essentially like as you guys know Indie wrestling as a whole is is it stays alive because its roster is mostly people of color, like LGBT. Mm-hmm. It's the point of the Bonnet Club is that you can have those characters at the forefront selling selling out everywhere and giving more opportunity to them. Every single member in the Bonnet Club is their own is their own character. At no point do I force them to like conform to a specific written character or stereotype it's all about flushing out your wrestling character so it's all about getting represented yourself so like originality and, and yeah 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 i yeah. like that it was cool to see a holy blade and b oh with yeah you. and i was like oh snap yeah, like let alone you know lucha wearing a, a bonnet <laughs> I love oh that. man you don't see things like that you know what i mean yeah he legitimately forgets to put it on because he can't feel it <laughs> <laughs> So that turned into a running joke. The entirety of the Bonnet Club happened on accident when um, I was going to a filming and I was wearing a bonnet and I woke up late, I hopped in the car. I drove uh, I drove like two and a half hours out to film. I got dressed, called my match and then did the match. But at no point did anyone tell me there was a bonnet on my head. Cause I just I got up so fast. Yo, I like that is I like so funny. That's like that's like people saying like, "Yo, where did my glasses go?" And it's they're right on their face. <laughs> like that's yeah, funny. no, like I <laughs> like I won the match. I got up and I, like not even the promoter was like, "Are you gonna take that off?" He didn't even. They all like I knew they were all looking at my head, but I didn't know why. So I just kept going with it. Oh. And um, you didn't have a choice, and, huh? No, nah, they just I I didn't know I was wearing it. Still, <laughs> I thought I took it off at some point. But it's so uh, cool. Now you have your own club, you know? Yeah. And it's so yeah. catchy. It's so catchy. Like the like the energy was it just shifted when you guys came out. I'm like, oh wait a minute. Like who are these guys? Yeah, that's that's the the fan interaction is the first thing that I that I that I wanted to do. I spent like three like almost three hundred dollars on just bonnets on Amazon. Mm-hmm. My first few shows, I would just throw them at people. And listen, he's talking about he's spending some money on these bonnets, so you know these are silk bonnets. Yeah. yeah, that's the only ones you can, you can really get. You can't have right. those like the cheap polyester ones right. that'll mess them up. So I have silk bonnets on the headrest of my car for people who drive with me. Oh, that's so. <laughs> you can't that's mess so up the cool. hair. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So, are there any feuds? Um, any any potential feuds between the Bonnet Club and any other groups or any other individual wrestlers with any members of the Bonnet Club? So, currently, we have. Um, We've been feuding with the throne for like months, but no one would book us against each other because mm. they because they're like, oh, it's just a social media thing. It'll fizzle out. But like we have fans that keep track of like stuff that we've said to each other on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram. So when Pro Wrestling R puts out that footage, the first match, we're going to be going crazy with promos. Um, on top of that, we have. um Zero Tolerance from uh, Super Fight Wrestling in uh, Delaware. They're a group that does uh, Twitch streams that are all for charity. So like every single, all the money that's donated to their streams usually goes to Toys for Tots or like wow. Red Cross or something good. Um, that's really nice. I've returned to GTS in March, which is Grimm's Toy Show. 
Um, I'm probably going to walk in there and immediately feud with the program because every single one of those guys I've absolutely dog walked by myself. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. All right. So where can the viewers find you? Oh, they can find me on basically any social media page, James Gray all day. Um, on YouTube, it's different. Just go, just go on there and look up uh, all day advocate. Okay. I think that's where the uh, the announcer confusion comes in because a lot of people announce me as all day James Gray, but it's the all day advocate James Gray. Got you, got you. All right, so we want to set up a an episode with you and other members of the Bonnet Club um, in the near future. Yes. All right. So um, thank you for joining us. Um, it's, it's an honor having you on the show. Um, it's an honor being on the show, man. Yeah, well, anytime. You're welcome back anytime. And before you go, um, I'd like to offer and extend to you a shout out. You can shout out any wrestler, any person in the world. You have the last word. Send a message to anyone. Uh, a shout out to anybody. Probably, probably to my grandmother. We, we, she, she's, she's moved on, but we're all still thinking about her. We all love you still, Maxine. I'm doing. I'm still. I'm pushing forward for you. She was the first person to buy a T-shirt for me. She was the first first person to buy a pay-per-view with me on it. Awesome. She's up. She's up there. But I know she's still watching every match and cheering for me. Definitely. Definitely. That's beautiful. We believe that. Mm -hmm. True. So thanks for coming out, brother. And we hope to see you. Of soon. Such a pleasure. All right. Until we see you again. Of course, <laughs> I'm gonna be at Pro Wrestling R again. We'll see you. Yes. I am. I'm gonna have some T-shirts and bonnets for you guys. Oh, All right, nice. Cool. Likewise. Cool. We'll have some stuff too. All right. Cool. All right, folks. That's it for now. Make sure you tune in next week. We're going to have our WrestleMania Midpoint show Sunday.